The Seashell Trust, yes. they uh, signed a letter saying that children's services are at breaking point. Will you admit that the cuts the Conservative government made to children's services have been devastating and dangerous to some vulnerable children? Well, we are supporting the, the Seashell Trust in, in a way that you can see today. We're also putting uh, £500 million just into youth clubs in this new uh, Conservative That's £500 approach. million pounds over five years, which doesn't it, go anywhere near what's been cut in the last ten years. But another, another £1.5 billion into adult and children's social care uh, to support local councils. But councils and, are facing a £3 billion and, funding gap for children's services by 2025. We, we when will councils putting, get the money that they need to help vulnerable back children? Into, back into uh, supporting uh, councils for adult and, and children's care, and we will continue to step that up. The only way you can you can do that is if you have a strong and, and growing economy and if you look at what we're offering it's a program of, of growth and expansion. I'm asking you about the, the economy. You came here and, to a place that helps and works with vulnerable and children and I'm asking what you'll do program. for them. In Manchester funding for children's services has fallen 45 percent since 2010. Will you admit that that's unacceptable and has put vulnerable children at risk? And that's why we're investing so much now. And, but you're uh, not yeah. investing as much that's been cut. Well, of course, it's also true that in uh, 2010, which you refer to, uh, the last Labour government, as you know, left... I'm left not the asking you about the Labour government. I'm budget, asking you about yourself deficit, and why you've come here today budget, and whether you will give deficit, these children the funding that they need pounds. through yes, the councils. The answer is, the answer is yes. And so councils so, so, will get the three billion that they need by 2025? Well, we're putting 1.5 billion more now. We're putting a billion more every year for adult and child social care every year up till 2025 so the so funding that's a is no they in. won't get exactly what they need i think you're you're if i may say so you're being you're, but we have you seen the photo we need to be making have you seen the photo i've been told about it by the bbc you, we need to be making investments this is the photo this is the photo we need to be making investments now and that's why we're putting 34 billion pounds this, this in. is a four-year-old boy prime minister suspected of pneumonia forced to lie on, on, on the floor on a pile of coats. I understand. And, and obviously we have every possible sympathy for everybody who has a bad experience in the NHS. And that's why we're putting the record investment into the NHS now. But we cannot get on and make those investments. We cannot get on and turn this country around, put in 20,000 more police, upgrading 20 hospitals, 40 new hospitals. I'm talking about this boy, know, Prime Minister. How right. do you feel looking at that photo? Of course. And let me, let me tell you, let me tell you that I, I haven't had a chance to look at that. I'll look, I'll Why don't you look at it now, Prime Minister? I'll study it in a, I'll study it look later. at it now. This is I, Jack Willamette. Um, if, if you don't mind, I'll, 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 give, you an, I'll give you an interview uh, now. What we, what we are doing is we are taking this country forward uh, and we are investing in the NHS. And uh, what would be the worst thing possible would be to have a government that is mired in uh, more deadlock, more disarray and unable to move forward. So uh, I have every sympathy with... You refuse to look summary. at the photo. You've no. taken my phone, put it in your pocket, Prime Minister. His mother says the NHS is in crisis. What's your response? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Look. I, 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 it's, a, it's a terrible, terrible photo. And, I'm, and I apologise, obviously, to the families and all those who, who, who have terrible experiences in the NHS. But uh, what we are... What we are doing is supporting the NHS and on the whole I think patients in the NHS have a, uh, a much much better experience than this poor kid has had. That's why we are making huge investments into the NHS and we can only do it if we get Parliament going, if we unblock the, the current deadlock and we move forward. And 